This is Paul from Freedom 7 Motocross and today we're going to be looking at dent removal. Nice big hole here from a little spill I took a few weeks ago. Um, yeah, so basically we're going to remove the expansion pipe. We're going to clamp up either end uh, with some special tools that you can get on um, online. Basically we start to heat up the dent and then apply some air pressure, I think probably about 40 psi. And then if you start um, heating from the outside and working your way to the center, that'll pop right out. Obviously don't press too much pressure, don't apply too much pressure um, because there's a chance of it splitting, but we'll do that step by step in the videos. We'll see you then. Okay then, so here we have the parts to basically the clamps. As you see, this goes on the, the front pipe, uh, the front of the pipe where it comes out of the barrel. And then you've got, you see where the front of the pipe pushes against there. It goes on like that way, and you obviously put washer and screw on there like that, or not on there like that. So that's the front of the expansion pipe. And then this part here goes round the back of the expansion pipe with a rubber to go on the back there. So obviously we'll show you that one. It's all connected, but that's basically the part. So here we can see that the clamps are on now. Just make sure that when you put, you know, I've got to get it in vision. When you um, put it all together, that everything is, you know, symmetrical. And when you're tightening up these two um, nuts here, you know, make sure that you, you do it evenly. So the plate's coming across evenly and parallel with the face, um, with the face of the pipe. So it's not all off because obviously, you know, the idea is to seal the air gap. And then the same hang on, there we go the same on this end to make sure that this is parallel with the end of the pipe I mean you don't have to clamp up too too much but obviously it has to go into the rubber to form a sealant there and then um, we'll pump it up through here um, through here in a minute and then we just check for any air leaks and then obviously tighten it up accordingly So basically, as you can see, we've blown it up, and if you can see that, that's why well, 60, so it's dropping there, so it's 70, so that's at 70 PSI. It actually does say on the paper, which I didn't read, it's uh, 60 to 80 PSI, not 40 PSI, but so basically we're at 70 there, and we'll go from there and, and see how we work out. Well, one thing to remember, make sure you're wearing gloves and safety glasses just in case we do get a little bit of a, a pop out um, just quickly check make sure we haven't lost any pressure yeah dang lost about 10 psi there so knock it back up to 7 here's our trusty blowtorch Starting at the outside.
So here we are with a finished product. You can see it's nice and smooth now. Just this is just some like you know burning marks, obviously from whatever debris was on there before.